Hi guys, I'm going to introduce you to new link and show a demo of the product. First, you have to create an account. I'll click on my account because I already have an account. So as soon as I click my account, you see I'm already logged in. After this, the first thing you have to do is connect your social channels. Click on social channels and you can see here, connect a new channel. Here you can see Facebook page, Instagram business, Twitter, LinkedIn profile, Pinterest, anything you can connect. For an example, I'll uh, connect my LinkedIn profile. You will click here and you see you have to put your ID password here. As soon as you put it, you can see your profile here. After you have added your social channels, go back to collections. Collections are actually the backbone of Newlink. It is like a folder where you organize your social media by categories, topics, etc. This will allow you to share a different variety of posts. For creating a collection, simply go here, create collection. Let's say you are creating a collection for your product. So name this products. Now you have to select your social channels. For now, because I have only linked my LinkedIn account, it is showing only LinkedIn profile. If you connect your other social channels, it will show here and you have to click all of them. If you want to post on all the channels, then select days. Let's say Monday, select time, suppose 10 a.m. And here you can see multiple options. Evergreen, one time only, two times maximum, three times, 10 times max. Here if you select the evergreen, let's say you have 10 posts and after the 10th day, it will repeat posting the same thing again. So on the 11th day, it will post again from the first. Okay, so for now, I, I have only selected one time only. Here we see an option, set a time frame. If we select this, you can see a start date and an end date. Suppose we are selecting 18 to 25th. That is one week. Suppose you are running a campaign for any special event and you are offering a discount. So you can select this start date to end it. And new link will only share within this one week. It will only post the collections during this time frame only. Next, we are seeing mark as draft. Mark this collection as draft so the post won't be published or scheduled until you reactivate it. After that, we can select a color code for this collection and you can select any color. I'm selecting red and click on create. You see your collection with a red color code is just here. Your collections will show up here and now you have to create post. So click on the products and you can create post either by clicking here create post or here. This create post button is always there in the left navigation bar. It's always available to you while you are anywhere in the platform. Now let's take an example and create a post. Click here. You can see here we have different options. General post, short video, Twitter thread, Twitter poll, Instagram slides, reel, TikTok video, whatever you want, you can create from here. For now, I'm creating a general post. Here you have to write about your post. You can write a caption, hashtag, whatever you want. Okay, and here you have to choose a file. Here you can see the preview. In this bar, you can see the other social platforms as I have not connected my any other platform. So it will not show my other profile previews. For LinkedIn only, I can see how it will look. Here you can write any caption, anything you want. Then you can see send follow up comment and schedule once. So I'm scheduling it date 19th. You can select time from here 10 p.m. And then just simply have to click schedule. See, your post is scheduled here. But now I don't want to schedule my post for my LinkedIn account. So I'll just click delete and yes, delete. It's as simple as that. Whatever you want, you can create here and schedule so that your social media runs itself. Let's see another example of a Twitter thread. For that, click here. You see this message here. Don't worry, I have not connected my Twitter account. So that is why it is showing. If you connect your Twitter account, it will not show. It is under the product because I have first selected the product collection. Then I am creating a Twitter thread. So it is under the product collection. Now write anything you want. Here our thread editor is very simple. You just have to skip two lines and it will add a new thread like this. See line one. Next again skip two lines. Line two. Line 3. You see new threads are getting added. Just like that you can add new threads to this. It's that easy. Now you just have to schedule it from here. Select date and time as I've showed you already. You see schedule. We can add Twitter poll from here as well. Ask a question choice 1 choice B. Poll length for how many days do you want it to be. Then schedule. 
Next, we have another way to add posts by importing a CSV file. Click Bulk Import CSV. Here you can see three examples. Then you have to choose a file from here. Then choose any file and import posts. This is another way to create posts. Now I'll show you a very interesting feature by New Link. If you run out of ideas anytime, you just go here, Content Library, and you can see 100 plus content ideas just in front of you. You can see work codes, positive codes, morning codes, inspirational codes, facts, random technology, book facts, fun facts, movie facts, memes, questions, etc. There is a lot of ideas pre-made content organized for you. Just post them without worrying about anything. You can simply add these collections by clicking add collection. Select your social channels. Select days, time and add collection. And you can see a brand new collection added for you. Okay, so this is it for the collections. Now we will discuss another feature that is automations. Automations is what differentiates new link from the competitions. You can use it to auto post articles from your WordPress blog, product from your Shopify or Etsy stores, YouTube videos or even your podcast. To add automation, click add. You can see this is the list of our automation tools. Anchor, auto retweet, blogger. Etsy, Shopify, even Zapier. Here you can see Zapier. You can import anything using Zapier. Here you can import any podcast from Anchor. We have WooCommerce where you can import your products. If you have WooCommerce store, we have ghost platforms as well. This is for Etsy. You can simply copy and paste your Etsy store link and we will auto post all your products for you. Here you can see Substack. This is where you can import any newsletter and share them with your audience. It can be yours or someone else's newsletter. Here you can see we have follow up comments or the first comment. If you have a tweet or thread and you want a follow up comment to it, you can easily do that. This is pocket app. If you have a pocket app, you can connect it from here and each time you add an article, we will share it with your audience. Same thing with auto retweet, captivate, you can see Instagram cross posting, medium, Shopify, RSS and all other platforms. Even have WordPress, Wix, etc. Now I'll show you a couple of examples here. Scroll down, click to WordPress, paste any website link. Here you can customize the caption or the post description. So you can type anything here and also you can type any hashtag and maybe some emojis. Here we have an emoji picker. Okay, now you see four options here. Create a new collection for this automation. You can particularly create any collection for this automation. Uncheck this if you want to choose an existing collection but here I want to create a new collection for that I am not unchecking this import existing WordPress posts as well as the future ones uncheck this if you want to import future WordPress posts only next is mark the post as draft for letter review and fourth is import post as image so for now I'll check this too and create add WordPress automation and here you can see a collection name called Ted block okay so here you can select your social channels and the other things are so similar that I've already shown you you have to select date you have to select time then this option how many times do you post then select a color code for now I'm selecting purple and you save this yes update and here you can see in this purple color we have a TED block which have 20 posts this 20 post you see there are pre-made 20 posts just in front of you so this is how you can create WordPress automation I'll show you another example click add automation if you want to add follow-up comment and right here this is a different type of automation so right here follow-up comment select a collection I'm selecting newsletter delay suppose 90 and you can write any comment you want and you can also provide some link next add comment automation you can simply add the follow-up comment and then it will show up here each time we share this on Twitter it will also add a follow-up comments asking our users to sign up for the newsletter. Hopefully the automation part is clear now. So if you have any question till here, make sure you let me know and, and write in the comment section below. Next in the history page, see I don't have 
much post so that will not appear here but you can see something like this you can see the status likes comments shares for each one of them next we have link shortener and this link shortener is very useful for a brand's link you can see the links sources clicks unique visit from desktop from mobile each one of these you can track that is so much interesting next we have schedule when you check this page you can see all your time slots of your social media post you can get an idea of your categories where they are going to be posted so this will be very useful to have a good color code you can see different type of social media post and you can change the time zone if you want from here see this is for the schedule next we have brands this is very useful when you want to separate your personal brand from your company brand or if you have to manage multiple companies or organizations and you want to create different brands for each one of them this brand section will be very useful to you this is personal uh, my account that is why it is showing here if you connect your other uh, accounts or other brands it will show up here in this brand section here you see the settings from here you can upload your brand logo this is my personal account so you can upload your image as well website or handle then time zone from here you can invite member to your workspace if you want to add a new brand click here add new brand let's say i'm adding a brand add brand see simply it will be added and from here you can manage which post will be live from which brand from your personal brand or from your uh, company so yeah that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed thank you for your time and patience we'll see you in the next video bye